hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this training session day trading with heart charts now you may be wondering what on earth is a heart chart a heart chart is a little abbreviation I suppose you could say I've given to the combination of combining Heiken Ashi charts together with Renko charts and in our coaching room this week we had a discussion a number of times about how effective Renko can be when we combine them with Heiken Ashi. so the purpose of this training session is to show you really Give you some ideas on how to trade them exactly what they are what to target uh, I suppose that the good and the bad in using these types of charts now it doesn't matter whether you trade futures stocks or Forex the exact same principles apply I want you to remember that and in the end we've got to remember that successful trading is nothing more than a pattern solving exercise and what these charts will do is make these patterns a little easier for you to identify as always traders I do need to bring up bring up the risk disclaimer uh, there is a risk in trading please feel free to pause the recording to read the disclaimer and as always my videos are always raw real and unedited so if I fluff anything up or make a mistake you're gonna have to live with it <laughs> you'll have to forgive me so uh, very very quickly a quick advertisement and then we'll move on so members you can join my private live coaching for only $97 a month every day I receive incredible feedback I'm not going to show you a heap of testimonials because who knows whether testimonials are real but hey I get a stack of them but most importantly I have over 200 uh, traders now attend my coaching program so I do two live sessions a week two sessions by two hours each 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Tuesdays and Wednesdays they are recorded if you can't attend live plus his comprehensive handouts uh, um, and as members of a day traders fast track program you know how comprehensive a program is well there's additional handouts and additional powerpoints in every session that we do so it's only $97 a month after your first month you can cancel it anytime or annually it's only $597 you're saving over 50% on the annual price that's only six dollars 25 for every two hour live and recorded session or for 97 a month uh, is only 1225 per session there's nothing else like this in the industry and the reason I can keep the prices so low is I've got so many traders attending the sessions and probably even more importantly traders the amount of resources and handouts and ideas that our members provide which I then pass on is incredible so there's just so many benefits in attending so once again you can go to the website and you'll see the tab at the top there private group coaching uh, go down scroll down the bottom and you'll see the links whichever option you choose to take and there's more information on the site as well so let's now get into this now first of all traders and I know I bring this up regularly but you've got to have an income target because a trader without an income goal is like a ship without a rudder and so it's so important traders that you know you know where you're heading and so let me give you a realistic target I want you to work on this and set your own target but this is realistic now I'm going to be showing you some micro charts today we'll be looking at the micro just because we've got now hundreds of members of trading the micros because they can get going with so little in their trading account and so we'll have a quick look at the four point uh, Nasdaq which is uh, 16 ticks and our risk per trade is only $25 okay and I'm going to show you how or what it really means to be earning 50 to $75 a day per contract you will get rich on that and so we talk in steps so you'll hear me refer to seven steps and I'll show you what that is when we get to the charts which is $28 and 10 steps is $40 now in uh, or on my Google Drive if you go to the folder that's called micro e minis futures folder on my Google Drive you'll find a, a heap of cheat sheets there so I've got a whole lot of cheat sheets on trading the micros and what these mean the ideal stop etc if you're using the super scalper or a ruler one it'll show you what your risk is what your gains potentially can be etc so go and have a look at that but our goal is really is to be achieving seven steps per trade and 
this is what Heiken Ashi the new heart charts it's really all about is how do we get in these trades and stay with the trades because one of the greatest challenges that traders have is that when they have a small pullback and myself included we want to get out yet Heiken Ashi will remove a lot of noise from the charts and you can stay with the trends longer you stay with the trade longer you can gain larger targets it's making your trading very very mechanical so if we look at this chart here this is a four point Renko on the micro and it doesn't matter whether you be trading oil or stocks and you don't have to of course uh, trade using uh, just Renko you know once again you know you may decide at the end of this video of it hey you'll just stick with the tick charts or whether and that's mighty fine this is just one style of trading but a lot of members love it so looking at these are 16 tick candles or bricks on the Renko now from our entry and this is a 34b and from our entry up to close to the high um, we've got 10 steps that's a $40 move now we go to break even at plus five so here that's a five step move that's a $20 move that's a maximum of eight steps uh, there that's $32 move uh, then you've got and I'm going to pretty much ignore the divergence trade so so I don't want to get sidetracked and here we've got an ABC T10 that gives you 10 plus over here you've got a 2b there it is there a 2 a 2b T12 trade okay so we can see we're bouncing on the anchor chart there that was 20 plus steps that alone was an $80 plus move now what we're after in per step or per trade is a minimum ideally of 20 to 40 dollars per trade okay let's have a look at one more chart here and this is actually the same chart just uh, a few minutes later going short we had a 2b 10 plus steps if you missed that entry you had another 2b there for my divergence traders you had a 2b uh, little double bottom that was good for eight steps uh, and I look for anything above five steps and of course there are there are ways that we trail and we lift our stops etc but that was eight and there's another 10 and there was another 10 you're romping your goals in now what does it mean here please remember on my Google Drive you can get this spreadsheet where you can do these calculations yourself but if you're trading say the micro ES or a, or a micro MNQ with a $1,700 account and you're targeting 50 a day 50 only only $50 a day and that's on 1700 why 1700 well this is allowing that you've got a maximum risk there of around one and a half to two percent maximum of your account size we want to be conservative with our risk okay and if you were just to every time you double your money so you go from 1700 to 3400 you start trading two contracts within 30 weeks you're earning potentially ten thousand dollars a week now we can then and if we look at our capital base at 50 weeks we're up to five hundred thousand now before you jump the gun you may say well look by then you're trading 100 micros no you wouldn't be once you start to get to 10 to 20 micros you would start trading the big contract okay you'd start trading the NQ or the ES because what you've then got in your account is 17,000 per contract okay so you simply divide these figures by 10 so to continue to achieve these sorts of income levels you're really only trading 10 major lots now to get there all we need is really and if I allow two dollars in commissions okay on the micros and like with ninja trade you're around 90 cents but let's allow two dollars <clears throat> excuse me I only need two to be $27 trades a day two great two B's a day trend following and just uh, let's just look at this one here here if we then same philosophy 1700 never any more than 2% risk we're sticking here on this on these figures here about one and a half percent we target 75 a day all that is is three net to be trades a day by seven steps so this is three seven step trades a day and you'll see what that is in a moment and there we're up to 10,000 a week in 19 weeks 
and we're up to million dollars capital in our account if we just compound it by week 48 and once again you just be trading 10 standard lots that time now what if you're say trading the big contract say you say if you're trading CL or you're trading yes or the big contract on the NQ or, or, or Forex or whatever other market here a $5,000 account targeting a net 200 a day okay now here to do that we're actually going for 250 to 300 a day all right but net net at the end of the week all I need is three seventy-five dollar trades a day now all that is is three six tick net trades a day on say the ES that's all I need or three eight tick trades a day on CL where that leaves me I'm up to 10,000 a week in 16 weeks look at the size of your account in week 50 2.8 million now this is the potential now your income goal may be nothing like that traders you might have a goal of only earning an extra 25,000 a year 500 a week your goal may be to be only 30 or 40 thousand dollars a week but it's important you set a target but you've also got to push yourself traders and you've got to put the work in and really work out what you really want to be earning so so the question now is how do we maximize each trade each move using a rule-based approach now I can ask you charts and those that are in my coaching um, uh, uh, sessions have seen me with the PowerPoint we've spoken about high can ask you, but we haven't really delved in it to what I'll be doing in today's video now they're very very popular now what high can ask you literally means is average bar and what they actually do um, high can ask you, um, candles represents a price average so their price is averaged so you're actually really using them as an indicator of the trend in addition to a typical price action chart such as you'd have on the side you'd have a tick chart a time-based chart or a or a Renko of course it's because it's an average so when the bar closes it doesn't represent the exact accurate price however it's really a strategy within itself it's really telling us uh, it's identifying the trend okay so it's telling us whether the buyers are in control or whether the sellers are in control and so it's if just a really great tool and and for also staying with the trend now you can pause this and read this I'm not going to go through this this is um, Michael one of my members sent me this gee was back in 2016 just saying just how happy he was to be using high Kanashi with our strategies so very important I say this and you'll see it again in a moment so we use traders our traditional entries we, we use the t2 we're trading the double tops and double bottoms the extreme angulation trades the slingshots etc we're trading all of those except we're using the hard charts or you can use <laughs> let me put it that way you've got an option of using the hard charts to keep you in the trade longer now what we've got here on uh, you know and this is way back in uh, mid 2016 this is your traditional tick chart a 233 tick okay so we're all over the place here a bit choppy lots of red candles etc now you go and then apply a Heikinashi and you can see there and the principle is we stay in it until we get a reversal or you get a close on or below your EMA and you might use an 8 or a 9 EMA you don't want to use anything tighter anything smaller so really as we use the um, uh, the trigger line 8 is what I prefer so once you you'd stay in this all the way up here until you get a close on or below which is right there now from a psychological point of view with the the Heikinashi the traditional candles you're staying in until you get a color change or you get that close below now with Heikinashi how we read them is this when we've got a strong uptrend you've got no tails under them okay so basically you've got shaved bottoms you've got no lower tails no shadows and you're going straight up so they're also very good which I'll show you on the charts for identifying a strong trend the opposite is true for a short 
um, if you've got a really strong downtrend this is what it looks like you've got no tails and all your tails are heading down and once we start to head into indecision consolidation a possible reversal we start to see like what looks like potentially spinning tops and these little candles here so we start to see this sort of and I'm not a, a, a traders I'm not really I can't tell you all the names of every type of candle but this is what we're looking for so we're looking basically uh, with these tails at either end and we're starting to get smaller bodies so this is a can really identify a potential change now what about Renko now of course in the coaching room 90% of the time we've got Renko charts up now because our strategies just work so well using Renko charts and so Renko is beautiful because it filters out minor price movements and it really it does make it easy for you to focus on the trends so there is some um, uh, drawbacks such as the uh, we can lose some information say compared to tick and that is why uh, as if you're a member of a coaching room you know I use tick charts in conjunction with Renko so it's good to have a tick chart on the side so you can actually see because sometimes you get a really strong trend on the Renko and actually let's see if we've got an example here sometimes you can get these really strong trends and you can miss out you might get out but you can miss out on the re-entry in fact traders when you've got a trend here see the tail just here. see that little black mark just there see the tail there and there and even over here the tails if you look at tick charts you can see quite often that looks like a reversal point and you'll actually have a red candle on the tick chart in this particular case I've got my entry chart I've got my anchor chart one and my anchor chart two so right there of course we've got basically our, our rule of one just there we've got a nice little uh, double top there you can see there and I know it's not exact but that's close enough here's your t10 there is your 2b so you're bouncing off your 89 your 34 you've got a slight overshoot and it's a pivot bounce so Renko is brilliant for what we do and let's have a look at a comparison and start to drill down on why this may be a nice alternative or something that you can consider for keeping you in the trades longer so the heart now the heart just simply stands for Heikinashi Renko all right so if you go on Google there's nothing on the internet about it I've given it not that nice name ha I think I'm pretty clever now <laughs> just to really shortcut it so what it is it's the Heikinashi combined with the Renko and I'll show you on TradeStation how to set them up uh, and and I don't use ninja trader uh, or some of the other platforms and so you'll be able to do a similar thing but I'll show you in a moment how we do that but what I want to identify here is I've got a uh, a uh, this is on the micro ES and it wouldn't matter if this is on the big contract price action with your Renko's is exactly the same so here I've got the Renko and the half set up now note here how it's orange all the way note here traders that I've got a green candle a green candle etc so this has stayed consistent down to the midline pivot just here so what it's doing is smoothing out price action so I've got my Renko this is a combination of high Kanashi and Renko and over here we can see how much more market noise we got there by having the tick chart there let's look at another example what I've got here is the um, traditional or oh, sorry the the uh, new combo of the Renko and the uh, Heikinashi there and here I've got a traditional Heikinashi chart see you still got a little more noise just there and it's a bit choppier here see that there how it's much smoother so what the by combining the uh, Renko what it's doing is smoothing it out even further and looking over at the tick you can just see how much chop once again we've got there in the tick now one of the challenges oh and here's a minute chart so doing exactly the same the ha the Renko and here is the three minute now one of the challenges that we have and, and that is just there that's that point just there by the way with the, the challenge that we've got with the three minute chart traders is that a lot can happen in a three minute candle your stops can be a, a lot larger etc so we really prefer and I know you could drop it down to a one minute uh, but we really prefer to use either uh, a Renko or a tick or a volume chart 
now you might use a 15-minute chart uh, for trend direction but generally most of our members are using tick and Renko but once again you can just see how smooth this is okay so with that as I mentioned earlier at the start of the video that for basically we have three main types of trades at I'm a day trader we've got trend following change in trend and counter trend virtually every single trade that we have you can use using the Hikanashi with it you can even apply if you like um, uh, the t1 the super scalper there your slingshots short-term stochastic hooks your uh, these are great when you get a t3 when you get a mean reversion trade they just show up really beautifully etc so your t9 your all of the setups that we have including your two B's all work brilliantly and I'm going to be giving you a number of when we get to the um, uh, live charts I'll show you a number of examples of how you might have these set up so what we're doing here traders is setting up the beautiful combo of both of these that is having high Kanashi and Renko now those in my coaching room or those that are looking at joining the coaching room we're actually going to start spending more time on this because I've now received a number of emails also from members that love this form of trading now once again there's some drawbacks as we're going to see but there's still a lot of benefits and like with all concepts in trading we really want to be able to, to make an informed decision so in the coaching room we'll spend more time on this so what I've got just here is really a combination of both so I've got here is the heart chart which I'll explain in a moment we've got our traditional Renko that we would use so I've got a four point uh, uh, on and this is actually on CL so I've used oil here so once again it doesn't matter what market you apply this to all you've got to do is just get your time time frames right for the market you're trading so right here we've got um, uh, a four point CL the black gold uh, over here we've got um, uh, a four point Renko then I've got my anchor chart because what we want to be doing traders is trading in the direction of the higher time frame now over here we had a number of entries and we can see here see how you can just see the wicks at the top it was probably a little harder for you to see the wicks so what that tells us we had a really strong uptrend now we had a couple of little orange candles and you had a re-entry opportunity straight after and the way we go we had a little pullback there and the way we go again and I'm actually going to take this back um what this is let me correct myself let me check I'm just going to check something I'm going to correct myself here <laughs> this is actually and I'm, I'm sorry I thought gee this is odd it doesn't look quite right so this is actually a two tick Renko okay um, a heart chart this is my two this is the four this is a seven so this is our traditional setup my apologies for that because I can't, can't see over here I can see the four and the seven I just couldn't see the size and I thought because I've been experimenting with both side by side so let me roll back a minute so what we've got here is our two tick Renko so we can see we had an entry there and that is that point right there okay so see that there that is that there now we had a little hiccup in the market and I'll show you where you could have either exited there or stayed with the trade and I'll explain this in a moment here we had an exit but then we had a re-entry right now look at this here we're staying with the higher time frame trend all the way now on the oil uh, each one of the steps on a two tick Renko was worth ten dollars so to get our 200 a day 300 a day we only need effectively I call them steps and you'll see these on the live charts uh, in a moment now one way of even smoothing it out even more is to use either an ATR stop or, or a, uh, you can also use um, some call it a volatility stop we've got program for NT8 and TradeStation as you know we've got the ATR stop okay which has been coded and we can adjust that and this is set to a setting of 1.75 by the way if you're using a parabolic there's ways of using parabolics and other things and you don't have to have that okay now you if you wanted to then not have an ATR you're looking for a close below the 8 EMA which is not 
which is really you would be out there but then you've got a re-entry so note the ATR here along with the heart confirming the trend continuation see the red the ATR then flips that confirms our re-entry there you're staying in you're in and you're out you're in you're in you're in and you're out now when we look at these moves okay uh, that's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen there's a two hundred dollar move just there okay so some of these moves and see these tails that tail there is that and that tail just there is that move just there so they can be really great as far as trading the Heikinashi so let's go to the live charts and I'll show you some examples let me just move this out the way yes yeah, so uh, this is actually the uh, CL trade uh, now normally during New York I trade a, a 4 7 and 12 on CL but it's been very very quiet um, today so a 2 uh, a 2 4 and 7 is the ideal combo look so we don't run over um, what we will do let's just go perhaps to a couple of different workspaces and I'll just give you some alternatives so what we're looking at now right here traders is the micro NQ, and this is actually a four point Renko or 16 ticks just here and on the right I've got my seven point and my 12 so I've got my trading chart what we call our entry anchor chart one anchor chart two and of course we've got our traditional EMAs and we've got there our short-term stochastics etc so let's just scroll back a little bit now first of all as I probably said before the heart charts the high Kanashi trading correctly is a trend following strategy okay so ideally you want to be trading with the trend now if we look at this right here where is my entry my entry even though it flips on the first candle over here where you could actually get in you're really going to get in on the second but here's what I want you to remember because price action on high Kanashi uh, is averaged what you're seeing over here usually on your axis is not correct you've got to go by what you're looking on your anchor chart or on another screen have a time-based chart or have your tick chart or once again you can just have your Enco where that is telling you where price action accurately is so you still may use uh, um, this for your entry but just remember the true, true price will be shown on your dome or here because what you see on your axis here let me just put this up perhaps if I just show you it might be easier so in putting the axis up here of the right axis what you would see here is not correct on your other charts price is correct because <coughs> excuse me what it's moving up on to is an average price this has been smoothed okay so you're not getting the true representation of price but that's okay because this is what we want notice here that these are all shaved bottoms and the tails of the top what this represents is a really strong move trade it's a really strong nice move just there now as you know right there we've now got a t10 so we come up here's our exit we could exit either uh, on that candle there see that uh, candle there where the tail it's almost like a can we call it a spinning bottom top or whatever you want to call it just there um, or we could exit on that first orange or if you want to be conservative uh, here on that second that closes on or below the trigger line now just note your angulation there traders you've got fantastic angulation okay so there's your t10 and we know our best t10s note your long-term stochastic and your hook are after either a t3 trade or major angulation there is a beautiful entry now this move down here this is where we make the big bucks here and here and by the way this is right there just a plain Jane plain vanilla everyday entry why bounce bounce slide as it's still a bounce that's as good as a 3b right at all that that actually right there traders um, uh, that is your day's profit 
there alone let me just show you uh, this let me just um, what we'll do I'm going to go to global just do this and I want to show you on our traditional uh, Akinashi chart which is right there so this one just there so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine that's what 30 steps there now 30 steps that there is $120 in your in, in the move there's about 20 steps now note this here and let's just go back to our Ikenashi we were just looking at then here it is here see how it kept you in all the way down to your pivot bounce okay just here and what do we have just there look at this we've got a beautiful t12 okay and what are we looking for we're going to trade this long until we get our reversal just here okay so there is my reversal to go short again we have a little bit of noise so we because our stop and where's our stop go by the way our stop is going one or two ticks above your little swing high one or two ticks above your swing low now traditionally if we're trading the four point Renko uh, uh, on the micro our stop there is going to be $25 if you're trading the big contract following the exact same principle you would have a stop there of $250 that's why if you're trading the big contract usually you're trading a smaller time frame okay so because we want to keep our stops really at that 75 to $100 mark uh, when we're trading the big contract but what we can see here traders is our high can actually we were stopped out or you might have exited sorry right on the pivot where's our entry re-entry is right there so we've got a re-entry bang look at that move once again now what can we do with these little hiccups these little bumps that we have in the road this is where you may choose to add a volatility stop or maybe uh, an ATR let me just change this ATR so I'd have that at 1.75 we go and put our, our stop in there at 1.75 and see here how even though we had that little hiccup we were kept in all the way down now the same is true by the way if I was to use the Renko if we look at the pure Renko chart and let's have a look at that chart again where is it down here okay uh, that spot there okay I can apply the um, the ATR and let's just see that may bounce us out there let me just see 1.75 that's my standard trading chart Oh no it's still kept us in just there okay so we were just kept in right so there's a, a number of things there you can be doing to stay with the trade even longer because all you want is those two forty dollar trades a day now let's have a look at some other markets so let's consider the ES so what I've got here traders is and let me it's a five if I got one set up here that um, I'm just gonna have a look and see what else I've got that's my live trading so what we've got just there as a comparison this is a two tick uh, uh, hard chart and this is a two tick Renko as we can see just there now let me just set up our normal charts just one sec here I'll just pause the video okay traders so what I've uh, I just wanted to do what set this up so what I've got is the heart chart here the combination of our Heiken Ashi and Rinko uh, as our entry chart over here and I better put the axis on which is very important we need to uh, have the axis on one of our charts uh, so there's my axis and here is my anchor chart so I can actually adjust these a little bit so this is a, a two point uh, on the ES this is a one and the other is a two tick so this is how we would have them set up so we can see there traders that we've got a very clear cut 2b it's actually a 3b entry right there now by the time you get down here you haven't fulfilled or haven't hit your target anyway so you'd still be in that okay now notice all of these tails so we can see there it's been a bit of a bit of chop and look at these tails here so we can see we've got some 
chop unlike this a really nice solid trend and getting over here so you've got an, a nice entry there your stop is going above and here you're going for your six to ten ticks now six ticks on the big contract is $75 uh, $7.50 on the micro so on the micro you've got to remember and take into account the commission cost so you really want to be going for those 10 steps if you're trading say the micro so on the lowest time frame a 10 step is $12.50 now on the big contract that's $125 so you've got an entry there got another entry there you do have one there and you're kept say and let me just confirm that uh, yep yep if you put your stop one tick above there you were still in that one all the way down there there's your re-entry now this is where then we start to see it really starts to look great see this here you're staying in until you get this color change so quite often with Renko uh, you'll find that we may get a color change and this is where we get shaken out of the market it might oh it looks like it's going to reverse I'm going to get out here we're staying with it from a psychological point of view until we get that reversal so there we're going to be in this long now what we've got there traders by the way let me just scroll that there to there you've got a 1d there so we definitely want to take that as you know when we take a 1d we target the 89 so there was our target now we would our stop would have been one tick under there here is your true price action what you may even do is this if you want to have a uh, particular initially if you're thinking gee this has got real potential set your oh, and I mustn't forget to show you how to set them up in a minute but uh, maybe set uh, a Renko up exactly the same size so here we're going for whoops we're going for a 0.5 and down here we're going for a 0.25 okay so I've got a one tick set up, uh, offset so to 1.25 so what we've now got just here is exactly the same chart setup so this is except this is our Renko here's our super scalper just there so this is our Renko this is our Iconashi now see the tails here now as that's coming down uh, you would know they look like reversal candles and this is where it really starts to shake the confidence of a lot of traders when they start to see these potential reversal candles so we're with Heiken Ashi and let's just go back here a little bit there you sort of a little bit of noise there too so you did get that there that that one just there is this here so you really didn't have that that major tail just there and all the way down so where you're really starting to um, get extremely worried when you see these tails this is keeping you in so how do we put the Heiken Ashi on uh, Renko how do we get that combo right so this is how we do it so we go to our format symbol so on format symbol I go to style and I want to make price action or price data invisible and you'll be able to do this on virtually every platform so I click on that and right now the price action is invisible except for the super scalper let me also hide the super scalper okay so I will hide the super scalper for now raise super scalper will hide that so there's nothing on the charts now now what I do I now apply the Heiken Ashi charts and I've got a number I've got I think six or seven different types are almost all identical so really virtually all calculated virtually identical okay so I'll put this one on and on we go and there it is there so what I've now got here is a great combination of uh, Heiken Ashi uh, and Renko candles together and you can just see how smooth this makes these waves okay so you and it's really it really is Heiken Ashi you really want to be trading in the direction of your anchor charts so let's just look at this here for a moment okay so if we look at this here we'd be on the right hand side here right price actions coming down we're looking over here and we can see now we've now got our t20 on here we're now in a downtrend here is our t20 just there so we're only looking for shorts 
and so I recommend that for all newer traders use it as a trend following strategy only for our experienced traders this is where it's beautiful as well because it makes it very um, uh, you can e it's easily there to identify your turns number one look at this here see the angulation it's building up so on the close of the second candle which is actually going to coincide virtually identical with uh, our close of our third candle on our um, on our Renko here's our entry now look over here what have we got we've got a t12 just here so when we've got a t12 we're going to go for a larger target we want to go generally higher than here but remember we're going to trail our stop until we get a close under and there it is there we would be out so that's just a scalp at this stage okay now we form a little double bottom and let's just do this right here so what have we now got setting up just there and see that tail see the body of that particular candle right see how we're closing in the upper one third this is where we're now getting interested ah, and once again I'm thinking that's my anchor chart <laughs> sorry this is the same size chart I was just done um, oh, you can tell I, I'm not used to changing these all around sorry traders so there and and just to remind you so there that's a that would be a two tick four tick and an eight tick that's what we'd be using all right what I was looking for if you're wondering what I was looking there I was looking for a 2d just there and actually let me just quickly swap this back over just one sec all right here we go I was correct anyway so see how I've got divergence I've got divergence so I've got a beautiful 2d setup at that stage uh, plus it's a t12 so this is a golden trade we've got to take uh, jump back in again and take now this is a this is a, a two tick a four and an eight tick now the other thing I was going to say what was the other ah oh, that's the other point I was going to say and so you can actually set them up also uh, to use on your anchor charts so you could actually have it like we've got here we've got an entry and if you wanted to stay in and see why up here we've got an entry just there so what have I got there I've got a classic 2b we enter using our entry chart and you could stay in the trade on your anchor until you get a reversal and you could actually have both your anchor chart one and anchor chart two with your hard charts as well so you can see here it kept you in all the way down even though you had the noise of a market here the uh, hard chart on your anchor chart kept you in longer all you need is one of those a day and what does it really mean to us well as a quick reminder traders what it means to us is this okay we only need basically uh, here at 75 and I didn't even want to go to 100 a day on this because you it, it's just incredible what you can do I think it's um, uh, 12 weeks or 13 weeks you're up to 10,000 a week and that's risking only one and a half to two percent on every trade now what you actually do as you build your account traders you want to lower your risk down to 1% yes your return on equity is slightly lower but hey you're still getting an enormous return so let me now finish a quick recap for you so the heart charts uh, with Heikinashi is really it's a trend following strategy except if you trade them at an extreme so yes you can trade uh, divergence trade using the heart charts and Heikinashi but you really want to make sure you've got those extremes it's fantastic from a psychological point of view for keeping you in the trade remember if you've got no upper wicks uh, shaved heads all the way down it means that the sellers are in control likewise when you're rallying up you're in a rising market there's no lower wicks you've got uh, shaved heads the buyers are in control so the shaved candles basically show us the strength of the trend you can use an ATR a volatility stop even EMAs to stay in the trade even longer just to handle some of those smaller bumps in the market 
so if you'd like to uh, join remember with my coaching you can join for one month it is 97 a month but you can cancel at any time after your first month or 597 for 96 sessions over a year so you've got um, you're saving basically $1,700 over the normal monthly rates so you can join my coaching or join my program uh, if you're not already a member and this is really most of the people watching this will be members but if you're not a member at this stage for $197 you gain all of my indicators uh, everything I've got on my drive but go to my website anyway I'm a day trader dot com I am a day trader well, actually I may not have that here uh, you can tell it's uh, been a long day trader so I'm forgetting half the things here <laughs> so here's my um, uh, website I'm a day trader.com but of course it's mainly members watching this anyway so traders will see you on the next video um, and of course coaching members watching this uh, I'm making sure you'll receive this we'll cover this in more detail in our next session and remember what I said um, uh, uh, on the last session make sure you email me any questions you want me to cover in our next session thank you traders